Hello everybody, Big Boy Variety is back with another terrible terrible quality video as usual. And obviously it's about that time of year. You know what time it is. It's almost college football season and we are almost set. It's a month away from, you know, football returning to us now. I don't really care about NFL preseason, so you're not gonna see me harp on that. So, let's just focus on college football today. Um, honestly, you know, after last year's little debacle with, you know, Alabama and, you know, UCF and all that, it, it was a strange season last year that we witnessed. It was almost as strange as 2007, I think, in some ways. Um, you know, the All-SEC Championship happened once again, and, yeah, it, it, it's crazy, you know, um, to think that we could have had a two-loss Auburn team up in there, or, you know, I mean, we got the lesser, kind of lesser of the two evils in Alabama getting in, even though they were in third place in the conference, but that's, that's a totally different story. Um, honestly and truly, it's going to be another one of those crazy years where you don't know what's going to happen, and you just got to wait and see what the results are going to be, because that's just how it is in college football. Um, my gripes really have been, you know, just with the, uh, with the fact that the NCAA has nothing to do with the playoff at all has absolutely nothing to do with, you know, the bowls and everything like that. And, you know, people are like, ah, I don't want any more bowl games. 40-something, 40 40-plus 40 bowl games with five and seven teams and six and six teams are too many. Way, way. And that's how they are. That's how some people are. You know, some people like Harbaugh and, and Scott Frost, the new head man at Nebraska. I wonder how that's going to turn out. Probably not going to be a Big Ten championship this year, though. But that, that'll that come a little bit later. Um, yeah. Honestly and truly, I do think the NCAA should get themselves involved in the playoffs. Because this, because the committee is not... They, they really don't have a set criteria in place to where, you know... Teams are just going to be like, oh, well, all we got to do is win a conference championship, and well, we're in, you know, something. Like, the case the last couple of years, it's been, you know, Ohio State the year before, Alabama uh, this year, where it's like, they didn't even win their conference, and boom, they are in. And in some cases, there's some teams that just, like, they don't have, you know, the best schedule in the country, even though that's purely objective. That's purely subjective. That's not like, you know, that's like not going on, you know, like they're just going on the fact they play either a weaker schedule or they play in a weaker conference or stuff like that. And, you know, it was the case last year with UCF of Wisconsin where honestly and truly, you know, that that was kind of scummy um, to think that, you know, that a team like UCF who played who uh, played only 11 games before their conference championship because they couldn't, you know, get Georgia Tech back on the line um, because of a hurricane last year and whatnot. It, 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 it's just a crazy thing to think about, you know. And I know there's probably going to be some people that are like, oh, well, group five playoff, you know. That's probably not going to happen either, but, you know. Maybe I'm just rambling on a little bit too much or something, but, you know, it, it is what it is, to be honest. Um, anyway, back to the whole playoff situation. You know, four teams has never been enough, and last year, um, the Pac-12, which has consistently been one of the weaker conferences um, in the past couple of years since the playoff has started, and Big Ten, which was like, oh, we're the powerhouse conference now. Well, we got all the teams. 
we were we we're the SEC West of 2011 now, with everybody you know just getting like nine and ten win seasons and whatnot, and it's just like both of those conferences got left out last year, it, several on several occasions the Big Twelve the conference that my team the Texas Longhorns are in has been shut out of the playoff a couple times as well, um, and it's just you know it's not. The four team structure is not, it's not good, but it's the best that we could do right now. Um, until deal expires in about another eight years, and we can just we can just hope and and wait uh, until then because you know the deals the deal is set in stone until about twenty twenty six I believe so. So it's gonna be four teams. There's gonna be a lot of things that could happen that have not happened yet. We have not seen Notre Dame in the playoff yet, even though last year was a really, last year and I think it was 2015 where it was like, you know, it, they really had an opportunity to get on up in there and that could have shut two champs out. But now you just add a whole new layer to it with, you know, teams that only have one loss or two losses that haven't won their conference that, that's just a whole new layer to things we have not seen a so-called group of five team even though i think that term is fickle we have not seen a team like that in here in in the playoff yet and you know ucf had a good shot last year i really think if they would have you know gotten on in because it's a 25 percent chance you know if you're one of those four teams selected it's a 25 percent chance that you win a that you get in and you win it all. So, do I think that, you know, UCF would have, you know, would just steamroll to the title game? No, no, absolutely not. It, it, they have a 25% chance. I'm being not unbiased on that, is that they have a 25% chance. Now, I'm not saying they can beat, you know, now, I'm not saying that they could or could not beat, you know, a team like Alabama or Georgia or Oklahoma or um, who's the other team in last year? Oh, yeah, Clemson. Now, who knows? They, they, could, they could have beat all of them. You, know, you never know. But, yeah, honestly, you know, that whole group of five thing and that whole Notre Dame thing and the and – the and the, and the teams that do not have a conference championship attached to their name that that's that's three things now that we have to worry about as fans as players that could be watching this video right now and whatever you know because you never know what's going to happen because it's a long and, and and frivolous season that we go through um next thing is Keeping on the subject, actually, is, is the fact that conference championships do not mean anything. I, for one, have, have not been on that train of, you know, conference championships meaning something. It's just an extra week of padding, to be honest. Um, I'd rather have the playoff go to eight right now if it, if it weren't for the conference championships because half of them don't matter. We know that because... The committee likes to think that, you know, the other half of the bowl subdivision does not matter. You know, the Sun Belt, MAC, American, Mountain West, Conference USA, they, they just think they don't matter. If we can get away from, you know, conference, conference championships and all that type of stuff, you know, if these neutral site locations and whatnot, then I mean... It would have been fine, you know, it would have been fine. We would have had the four teams already. It would have been fine. Everything would have been all good. You know, we would have had Wisconsin, I believe, Georgia, um, you know, Clemson, Miami, you know. One, one of, some of those teams, whoever was up in there. But that was last year, and this is a new year. And so let, let's really just get into it, honestly. Let's get into it. The champion that I think will, well, the team that I think will win the championship this year is obviously going to be 
the Alabama Crimson Tide. Probably. It, it's a safe bet. You know. They have two quarterbacks. Tua Takabailoa. I can't believe I think I pronounced that right. But we'll just call him Tua. And, and the abhorrent, inconsistent Jalen Hurts. Now, Jalen Hurts is a good scrambling quarterback. He can throw a little bit, but he's just not the guy to die that you know, most people want chunking chunking the ball up and down the field. Now Alabama has, you know, a strong defense as always. They have a good running game and they might have one receiver, you know, or a tight end that could just, you know, go up and down the field, you know, doing all sorts of routes, catching balls and getting touchdowns for them. That's just how it's gonna be this year for Alabama. Um, as far as Clemson goes, um, I think they have a good shot too. Georgia also has a very good chance to get back and win it all with um, Rom and, and, um, and um, whatever, whatever, whatever Georgia's gonna do this year. And I haven't really been keeping up with everybody, you know, because it's just it's really not it's not that it's we still have a month until the season begins. We still have a long month, so we so I can't just, you know, get all this information on all these teams and whatnot, you know, because, you know, it, we just go with the safe bets right now because, you know, the safe bets to go to the playoff and everything like that. Now, some people have said that Washington is a... I think that Washington is, you know, they've said that Washington is one of those sleeper picks to get on in. That may not be the case, though. That may not be the case. And the reason why I do not think that is the case is because, you know, it's going to be a loaded season <laughs> in the patch. Well, because guess who's back? UCLA. Chip Kelly. Yes, he has returned to the college scene with his spread attack that did not work in the NFL. I don't care how you slice and dice that. That was a terrible experiment. And the way that he, the way that he did it, you know, Chip did it. He it, it just did not go too well. And, and you said we all knew. We all knew that this wasn't gonna work. Was, I mean, you know, even even you know bigger YouTubers have sounded off on Chip Kelly and why his spread scheme is 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 not it's not the way to go yet. Give it another 10, 15 years, and I guarantee you, it's going to be shotgun all the time in the NFL. <sighs> I, I, I await the day for that. Um, but yeah, Washington is just one of those teams that I haven't looked into Washington either. Um, but I think that, you know, it's going to be a loaded year. You know, US, 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 USC is still going to be there, you know. Oregon, they got Herbert. Um, he's a good quarterback down there. Eugene, he's a good quarterback. And I think Oregon, you know, will have something to say. Um, Stanford's still there with Bryce Love, the who I think is going to be one of the one of the couple guys that will win the Heisman Trophy that could potentially win it all this year, along with Jonathan Taylor from Wisconsin. Um, those are my top two at the moment. Um, number three would probably be a quarterback. So, some kind of quarterback. It's going to be either Kelly Bryant, you know, Tua, or Jalen Hurts. Maybe Will Greer from West Virginia. Who? Eh, 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 let, me, let, me, let me talk about the Big 12 for a second. Let me talk about the Big 12. Um, Kyler Murray, that guy. You know, Lane Kiffin said some stuff about him, you know, on the side of the baseball contract. Um, I honestly think that guy will do well for OU this year. So, you know, the whole baseball thing, that's kind of a distraction. But if he's going to, you know, come on down and do some football work, you know, uh, can't, can't, can't stop him because, I mean, Oklahoma has a very, very tough schedule this year. I mean, you, you can go around and look at, at other channels and whatnot, 
and see that, you know, talking about Oklahoma, it, it's just, you know, it's a real, real situation, you know, down there. But um, anyway, back to um, what I was talking about, which was the Heisman. Yeah, I know I've been kind of jumping around, but you know, it it is what it is. So anyway, a combination of quarterbacks that interwoven could win the Heisman Trophy, um, steal it away from either Jonathan Taylor or Bryce Love, because that's that's probably the one-two punch that that I think will get on to the promised land, to New York, to see, you know, who's going to hold that trophy. Even though it's kind of a popularity contest at this point, you know, it's not really about the best player anymore. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, on to the Big 12, actually. I, I do... My problem last year was uh, that we got the conference championship back, and we didn't need it. We we ended up not needing it at all because TC was just not that great last year, and and Oklahoma blew the brakes off them twice. I think it just beat them down with um, good old Baker Mayfield a couple of times, and it, and I mean Oklahoma. They, they won the conference outright, so I mean, they won the conference outright anyways. They didn't need the conference championship. There was no need for it. And I think that's probably going to be the problem that the Big 12 faces going forward. Um, you know, as long as my Texas Longhorns still have a say in everything, as long as the Longhorn Network is still there, as long as Oklahoma is still, you know, consistently winning titles, and maybe Texas too, it depends. As long as it's the Texas and Oklahoma show, you know, you're not gonna be, you know, you're, if you're a fan of like West Virginia or something like that, um, and if it's not basketball and you're Kansas, and you know, it's, it's just not gonna go the right way for everybody else because, you know, it's gonna be because this conference is probably going to die because of terrible decisions like these. I should have made a video a long time ago explaining that because that it's a terrible, terrible decision in my opinion without adding a couple teams up in here to, you know, maybe, maybe give some levity to everything because it, it's just not feasible to do a round robin, and then, you know, to to do another goddamn conference championship. Unless you add a couple more teams. We could have added a couple more teams a couple years ago, but we did not. We did not. When the realignment started, we could have added Louisville and BYU, and I still think we can, and we have not. Louisville's in the ACC. BYU is an independent struggling, you know, a struggling independent at the moment. But yeah, it, it's not, it's not good. It's not, it's not in our best interest, you know, to be adding a championship game that is unnecessary when, you know, when, I mean, last year the problem, the problem was avoided. Everything was cool. You know, Oklahoma won the conference outright. They were in. They were already in. They didn't. There was no need for it. I mean, this video is long as it is already, and I haven't even gotten to the nitty gritty of everything. Um. Let me see. Let me talk about UCF real quick before I get out of here and before I talk about something else or whatever. Um, as far as I can tell, 
the big, probably the biggest issue of the last of last season was the fact that UCF claimed the national championship. And I mean, to be honest, there is a split championship. There was a split championship last year. No matter how you slice and dice it, um, you know the polls. The polls still have some kind of say in everything. You know, if a minor poll, a very, very minor poll, like the Collie Matrix poll, gave UCF the national championship. It, it, there was just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's a split. You can't really call the college football playoff a championship because it's not sanctioned. It's it's a fake title. That's really the big picture here. Is that you know UCF and Alabama and now. UCF's got, you know, got all the trolls and all their fans, you know, on their side and everything. It's it's crazy. I I I, I don't know, to be honest. It, it, if that's if that's what last year was like, then I cannot wait for this year. Because this is going to be a fun year, you know, in college football. You know, we got my marquee games, you know, Louisville without Lamar Jackson is not going to do well against Alabama. Let's just let's just get that out the window right now. You know LSU, Miami. You know on opening day, Auburn, Washington. I mean, it's just going to be you know it's going to be fun. You know, it's going to be a fun fun season, and I haven't even touched the surface of everything that is needed to be covered. So. What I'm going to do is get on out of here, and because it's 4 o'clock right now where I'm at, I'm going to do something else, and Big Boy Variety is out. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Peace.